master. Anybody home? Yes, master. Yes, master. <laughs> are you all, all right? Happy. Yeah, we yeah, are great. Right. Thank you. How are you, master? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not too good, but good. Oh. Meaning, I'm good. <laughs> oh. Good is good. <laughs> it's just that too much suffering and anxiety in the world doesn't uh, help me to feel restful. Oh. Even though my soul is restful. No, oh, understand. Yes, master. Just we are in this world, and it's inevitable that we can feel other people's suffering, pain, and sorrow, mm-hmm. or unhappiness. But in this world, there's too little happiness. Yes, mm-hmm. master. That's true. So we feel all the suffering and sorrow of people. I mean, the people from both the human and animal kingdoms. And it's just that thing. It's a shame. We could have a paradise here mm-hmm. on Earth. Right. Right. Yes. Yes, Master. I want to tell you guys, also know your brothers later, that if your eyes are tired from staring too long at the computer screen or working, the bright screen makes your eyes tired. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And apart from going out every couple of hours in the greenery to relieve the strain, strenuous feeling from the eyes as well as repairing and replenishing them. Before you rest, you should put like a wet towel on your eyes, okay? Oh. Yes, I okay. understand. It's better if you put cold chamomile tea into the towel. Yes. And then you put it on your eyes while lying, resting. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, master. And uh, keep changing it so that it's cold and fresh, yeah. More of chamomile tea all the time. Right, yes. Yeah, just put it on your eyes, make them rest while you are reciting the holy names and relax like that for a while, maybe up to 10 minutes. Yes, okay. Thank you for Thank this tip, master. master. Yeah, it will be very helpful. Yes. If you don't have chamomile tea, then at least use some cold water, okay? Okay, master. It will not harm your eyes. It will be good anyway. Remember that. Yes, Master, thank you. Whenever you can at night. You can cook the cum my tea and let it be cold in a jar or something. Yes, right. And then uh, you can leave it in the fridge or at room temperature or outside in the cool temperature. It depends. Yes, yes, Master. If you like it cold, you keep it in the fridge and whenever you use it, you take it out. Yes, yes. Master. You don't have to cook it every day. Every time you use it, maybe... One cup of my tea, back for one cup. Yes. Like the normal China tea cup. And it can be used for a couple of days or three days until it's finished. Then you can make a new one. Uh-huh. Yes, I understand. Maybe you cannot do it every day, you're tired or something. But you have a treatment maybe three, four days or one week and then take a rest. <laughs> or maybe three days, take a rest and do it again. Yes, master. Yes, master. I forgot about that. I just remember now... I mean, a few days now because I remember when my eyes had to be operated on and the doctor told me that. Oh. And then now because my eyes keep bothering me, I remember that. Oh. Of course, I told you all about the eye drops already. Mm -hmm. Right, right, yes. But this is extra. Yes, Master. Thank you so much, Master, for the tip. Thank you, Master. It's okay, of course, I should have. Remember that a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I keep bearing the eye irritation because I keep pushing it. <laughs> when I'm working, <laughs> I couldn't care less what. This is bad. It's not good like that. Not good at all. You must take care of yourself, okay? Right. right. Yes, master. Don't do what I do. <laughs> do, do what I told you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, master. I forgot, and I have too much uh, worry and anxiety about the world. Oh. What the world. I'm still fighting so that not all the world will be annihilated. Oh. Oh. I'm still fighting, negotiating, discussing about that. Oh. Oh. With all concern in heaven and on earth. Thank you, Master. But the thing is, we cannot save all of them. We could save the souls, so some good ones. Yes. Mm. Because... Not all of them are good. Not all of them are repentant. And not all of them are real humans. Oh, wow. They were like demons and ghosts or Maya, the illusion of kings, uh, subordinates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Infiltrating into humans' worlds. 
to stir up problems, to cause havoc and pain to humans. Mm. That's what they do. So we cannot save everyone, even if we wanted to. Mm. I understand, I understand. Some are also possessing humans to make them do bad things. Oh, God. Mm. You can see that through the war in Ukraine. Mm. That's true. Yes, yes. What did Master mean by some humans are not humans? Yeah, because some are kind of zombies. They are possessed by some lower negative entity, and they direct that person to do things, not according to what that person really wants. Oh. For sometimes people go out and do some bad things and come back, and they don't remember. Investigations are underway across this country after... 13 mass shootings took place over the weekend. There have been more mass shootings than days in the year so far. In only 157 days this year, there have been at least 246 mass shootings, defined as four or more people shot and or killed in a single incident. And they're happening in every kind of scenario, public and private. So tonight, new details surface in the death of a local attorney here. She was attacked in her own home over the weekend. Detectives saying her house was most likely chosen at random, and investigators tell News 6 the suspect here had just been reported missing from the nearby hospital. We have not been able to establish any connection between the victim and the suspect. Franklin's longtime girlfriend telling News 6 about an hour before the alleged murder. She reported him missing from ORMC after being admitted for making what she called troubling statements. Because the way he was talking, he does not talk like that. He respect people. He was talking crazy. He was even thinking that somebody was going to kill him. Okay, that's the things that he was saying. Orlando police say that Franklin told them that he doesn't remember anything that happened from the time that he left the hospital to the time he was arrested. A man suspected of killing his roommate in Osceola County. Waddell allegedly shot at Corvino more than a dozen times. Over and over, Waddell told police he was fine, but he couldn't remember what happened before police showed up. From what he could remember, Waddell says he woke up that morning feeling scared and being in Corvino's room, where he saw Corvino covered in blood with a gun lying next to him. Waddell went on to say that sometimes he has nightmares and thoughts of wanting to kill young men, but never acted on these thoughts. We will charge you with murder, and we'll go from there, okay? Murder? That's right. Stuart Cox's reaction to learning he would face a murder charge was immediate. Upon learning why he was in a police interrogation room, things soon changed. Tracy's name was Tracy Brock. That's right. That's my girlfriend. Right. That's my mother. She's dead. You killed her. When you all got an argument and you shot her, you killed her. She's dead. That's why you're being charged with murder. From the moment Cox is accused, he denies remembering anything about the morning of March 25th. Even when detectives say witnesses place him at this Alt Scheller place home at the time of the murder. I don't remember anything past last night. Whenever I passed out. Investigators continue to ask why Tracy Brock is dead. Cox claims he doesn't know, saying he loved her, even breaking down at times. 43-year-old DeCarlos Brooks appeared in court today after being accused of shooting Officer Glenn Doss. Police say Brooks shot Doss in the head after DPD officers were dispatched to his house on McDougal for a 911 call. According to Brooks' attorney, he doesn't remember what happened that day. He has no recollection of the events. Therefore, I'm unable able to, at this point to proceed. 25-year-old Ashley Horning is facing a second-degree murder charge. But today in court, through her lawyer, Horning told the judge she doesn't remember anything. She does not understand or recall this event at all, that she has issues with sleepwalking and such things. So some people die and then some possessive entity just comes into that body and continues to live on using that body to enjoy whatever they want to enjoy. Mm. Some negative entities are powerful. They can possess for a longer time, and some just uh, temporarily, like now and then. Wow. Oh, scary. Yes, yeah, scary, I know. That's why many people do bad things. It's not always their intention. Mm. Oh, the soul is gone dead already, and the body is used by a negative power. Oh, oh scary, yes. Yeah. Even animal people... Some animals are used by these uh, hungry, zealous ghosts or demons. Mm -hmm. They took over the dead body of some animal and went out and killed people or killed other animal people in a vicious, unusual way. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. 
even insects, like some ants, are not all real ants. They are zombies. Mm. Yes. Either by the curse of some black vicious magician or possessed or directed by negative entities. Wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And recently, there was a sloth bear. They call it sloth bear who kill a couple. Oh. Attack them in a very unusual way. That's what they say, unusual way. Because normally the bear, people wouldn't do that. Right. right. Yeah. So these are some examples. This world is a very scary world. Not all are real. Yes. yes. So humans are also victims <sighs> living in such a terrible environment. Mm. The Buddha say this world is full of demons, ghosts, and vicious entities. In the Lotus Sutra, the Buddha say that. He told a parable story. One very rich father has many children, and his children went to play in some deserted kind of ruined house. And in that place were ghosts and demons, and he was burning. So he worried about his children, and he tried hard to get them out of there. Mm-hmm. This is a parable for our world. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Yes. And the Buddha came down, like any other master, who came down and tried so hard to get humans out of danger. Many humans don't know. That's why they don't follow them. Because they can't see what the Buddha sees and what the Master sees. Understand that. Yes, Master. That's why for the Master always feel very sorry for humans and try so hard even sacrificing everything in their lives for them. Yes. yes. But it's a pity humans do not understand, do not believe what the Masters say. That's why they bring harm upon themselves. Mm. Yes. yes, Master. <sighs> Okay. Uh, Master, we forgot to ask you. Yeah. Uh, some leaders advise Ukraine not to humiliate Putin. Mm. Uh, but how? Because Putin invaded Ukraine unprovoked with no reason. Yeah, everybody knows that. Why those leaders advise Ukraine to do that? It seems senseless. Yeah, I wonder myself. Uh, these are the black dot people. Oh. I see. Or yes. influenced by black dot people. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, yes. They worry that Putin will not give them gas and oil and threaten their country. Oh, understand. And uh, the war of Putin will damage their economy mm-hmm. yes. because many refugees will run to their countries. Oh, that will take a lot of time, money, infrastructure, and organizing to help the refugees. Right, yes. yes. Political and all kinds of things, and they are also afraid. I understand, mm-hmm. yes. yes. Or they are influenced by their personal relationship with Putin. Oh, oh. I see, yes. Some people like Putin for different reasons. I don't want to take it here. Not just political, personal. Mm-hmm. Understand, Master. Yes. Maybe they also have the same wicked idea. Wow. Yeah. That idea, the suggestion you ask me now is from uh, Henry Kissinger and from Macron. Yes. So these two leaders, as far as I know, advised Ukraine not to humiliate Putin. Yes, Master. But other people would say that humiliation for Putin is inevitable because of the war. Right, oh. yes. He humiliated himself because Russia keeps losing. Yes, yes, yes master. master. And so many generals die. I don't know how many generals Putin still have left over, maybe 10. Mm-hmm. True. In the whole country, you can't have that many generals, but they all die. Whoever was sent to Ukraine all die. Mm, that's yes. right. The top ones, generals and colonels, these are leaders of the army. I understand, Master. Yes, and master. they sent a lot of shock waves into his army. Mm-hmm. They're demoralized and depressed. Yes, right. And they defect or they run away or they can't fight well. Mm. Yes, I see. Now and then they gain some pockets in some places here and there. Yeah, yes, master. Of course, because uh, they are pushed to do it. Or some vulnerable area, easy to invade and to control. Yes, yes right. Also, they have these three bases in Ukraine. Crimea, Donetsk, and Luhansk. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes, they yes. use them like stepping stones to spread out. Yes, Master. If they didn't have these three areas, they would have lost immediately in the beginning. Mm. Oh, yes, true. This is the message that the aggressive gangsters of the Russian government did not get. 
this is from God. The message is from God. Mm-hmm. All the war leaders, the generals and colonels who have been sent to go out or die, yes. there's a message from heaven. They say, stop it. Yes. yes. Stop it. 